Scientific methods are organized ways to answer questions and solve problems. These methods include several steps, although scientists might not use all the steps or they might not use the steps in order. You will use scientific methods when you want to find something out or when you do science fair projects. The first step in the scientific method is to ask a question. You might have a question about something you observe. You will research based on your observations and identify the problem related to the observation. For example, solid salt dissolves slowly in cold water. However, when heated up, solid salt will dissolve faster. Based on the observation of a phenomena or event, an inference can be stated. Making an inference is a process to form an early logical conclusion, which may or not be true, to explain an event or observation. Problem is identified by asking question, based on the inference made. The next step is to state your hypothesis. A hypothesis is a possible answer to your question. You tell what you think will happen. A hypothesis may need to be successfully tested through an experiment. For example, when the water temperature increases, the time taken for the solid salt to be dissolved becomes shorter. The next step is the procedure. You plan how you will test your hypothesis. You will identify variables. There are three type of variables. There are manipulated variable, responding variable, and constant variable. Manipulated variables change during an investigation. Responding variables are factors that change according to changes in variables that are manipulated. Constant variables are factors that do not change throughout the whole investigation. For a fair test, you choose just one variable to change to study its relationship with a responding variable. Keep all other variables the same. Next, you want to actually test your hypothesis. This is where you collect your materials and tools, conduct the experiment, and record the data. You need to choose suitable apparatus, and then listing down the procedures or methods to control the variables that respond for this scientific investigation. The next step are conduct your experiment and get the results. You collect and record all the data in a proposed table or organize your notes to make them clear. This step enables you to understand a concept or event and find out the hidden meaning. Make diagrams, charts, graphs, or making statement to help in interpreting the data. The last step, making your conclusion. This is where you summarize your findings. Your conclusion is a decision you make based on your data. Communicate what you found out. Tell whether or not your data supported your hypothesis. The hypothesis stated is either accepted or rejected. For example, in this experiment, the higher the temperature of water, the higher the solubility of salt in water. That is the scientific method flow chart. Question. Research. Hypothesize. Procedure. Conducting experiment. Gather your results. And make your conclusion. These are the steps of the scientific method. Thank you for taking time to watch this.